and they're off in the San Felipe. Beautiful art hopped in the air. Happy Jack is sent out of there. Forbidden Kingdom sprints quickly, and Armagnac the pace hot and heavy early on. Doppelganger is fourth on the inside of Cabo Spirit. Worse Reed Sanchez, and Beautiful Art is at the back of the field. Forbidden Kingdom will set the pace, and he has it by two lengths. Armagnac clearly into second, and then Happy Jack back to third, about four and a half off the leader. It's another three back to Cabo Spirit, racing on the outside of Doppelganger. Worst Reed Sanchez, second to last, and beautiful art at the back of the field. Forbidden Kingdom really rolling on the front end. Has it by three lengths. Armagnac second. Now a gap of seven or eight. Back to Happy Jack. There's room at the rail for Doppelganger, who starts to advance, and Cabo Spirit outside of that pair. Another four lengths to Worst Reed Sanchez, and beautiful art has trailed throughout. Three-eighths of a mile to go in the San Felipe. And it's Forbidden Kingdom, who has opened up a nine-length lead. Doppelganger now comes after him in second. Armagnac, a softened-up third as they round the turn. And it's Forbidden Kingdom still with a commanding lead. Doppelganger will try to catch him in the final quarter of a mile. Cabo Spirit racing on the outside of Happy Jack. They turn for home. And Forbidden Kingdom still strong on the front end. A seven-length advantage. Doppelganger is clearly second. But it is Forbidden Kingdom. A stellar display. Six-length lead past the 16th pole. And what a performance from Forbidden Kingdom under Juan Hernandez in the San Felipe. They win by more than five. Doppelganger second. Happy Jack was third. Beautiful art finish fourth. Forbidden Kingdom with a vulgar display of speed here in the San Felipe. You can see all the owners with their micro shares giving high fives to Michael Barron's of My Racehorse. What a fantastic feeling for all these owners of a tremendously talented son of American Pharaoh. Forget about settling, just go on with it. 22 and three, the opening quarter, he doesn't slow down from there. 45 and four, three quarters and 110 and two, and he maintains the advantage that he carved out in the early stages of this race. Son of American Pharaoh, that Triple Crown winner, horse of the year. You can see Juan taking a look back, and that's Doppelganger, who's ages back behind him. He was way back early on in that race. Looked like maybe for a bit, Flavian Pratt was going to be able to cut into that advantage and get closer in the end, but in the end, it's all forbidden kingdom in the San Felipe. 